Okay, let's face it. You want to get a gimbal or glide cam so you can film those beautiful sweeping shots, right? Problem is, you don't have the resources to actually get a gimbal or a glide cam. Well, there is a way to fake it by just using your camera and using one simple body technique. You ready? Let's go. The first thing you'll need is a camera that's capable of slow motion. The slower the camera can film, the smoother your shot will look. Most cameras these days can shoot up to 60 frames per second, and some can shoot even more. But for this tutorial, we'll be using the Panasonic GH5 shooting at 60 frames per second and 180 frames per second. Here's a scene shot at 60 frames per second. And here's the same scene shot at 180. See what I mean? So once you have a camera capable of slow motion, there is one simple body technique that you can use to fake those gimbal or glide cam shots. And it's shifting and balancing your body weight between your knees. That's it. The idea is to start with all your weight on one side of your body, then slowly shifting your weight to the other side while maintaining a steady balance. We'll start by doing a common push-in shot where the camera pushes into the character. For this shot, I separated my feet wider than shoulder width apart. Then I placed all my weight on my back knee, and when I was ready to film, I slowly shifted my weight to my front knee while maintaining a steady balance. Here's the final shot at 60 frames per second, and here it is at 180. Let's do another common shot, and it's the sweeping movement around the character. Again, I separated my feet wider than shoulder width apart. Then when I was ready to film, I slowly shifted my weight from my right knee to my left knee while slowly keeping the character in the center. Here is the final shot at 60 frames per second. And here it is at 180. All handheld, baby. You can improve this technique by exhaling as you move. That way, you can reduce shake because your lungs don't breathe in and out while you're filming. It's gonna take some practice to get it right, but once you've nailed this technique down, you'll be way more confident to film shots like this one. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and even this one, without operating a gimbal or a glide cam. By the way, I love gimbals and glide cams, and I own a glide cam myself, so I'm not trying to say don't get these tools at all. If it helps your production, by all means, get it. But for those of us that don't have those tools, I love being resourceful and making the best with what you've got. And to me, that's what creativity is all about. Well, hopefully this was helpful to you. I encourage you to try this technique on your next shoot and send them my way. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Well, thanks for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below or DM me on Instagram or Twitter and I'll catch you later. Peace.